Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some PSP Runner tips and tricks. Today I want to talk about user groups. Now what is user groups? User groups is just different users that can sign on to one single application but they don't have all the same permissions and they don't see the same things when they sign on. Okay, I'm going to take you straight uh, to the website quickly this user is signed on as the main user and he can see everything okay so on his level everything that's related to him is within this COMM section over here I still have to rename that I'll do that later then there is a regional manager so this person can obviously see all the regional managers and he can then make a selection on any of these regional managers so when he clicks select only that person's information will come through there's a little bit of a background color to show which person that you select and then it will filter through right through to the bottom onto this person however there are more users that actually reports to the advisor manager and again uh, a selection can be made over here and that will filter even furthermore down to the last level and then like in my previous tutorials I showed you how I built those date range buttons and this reset selection button and how I added it in there so I, if they want to reset the selection it can easily be done by clicking any of those okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to give access for all the regional managers to sign on as well any of these persons will be able to sign on here but when they sign on they will only see data relevant to them they will if craig for instance signs on he will only see his own row there, he will see his only row there and then obviously down everything related to him only will show and then when a uh, advisor manager signs on he will only see his own record and everything related to him downwards downwards means he can't see anything above him any of the levels before him so this advisor manager will not be able to see any information about the regional managers and when a regional manager signs on this manager will not be able to see anything related COWM level over here hopefully that makes all sense um, so straight to the project you the first thing that you want to do is to go straight to your security section within this application here you will have to tell php runner which user groups do have access to this actual application and what they are and what they can and cannot see by doing so you will go to the permissions tab over there so on the default user which is by default always there i unticked everything nothing here so if anybody signs on here that doesn't belong in any of these groups they they won't see anything okay so in the database table for my users i have a single column that identify or flag that user and to tell me to which group they belong in my case the field is called user type which is literally the same thing the type of user is it the administrator is it the manager is it the whatever so there's only three types that i would need within this application first select your field that actually contains the the group information and then if you click on this add group button over here now here you will be able to select 
the group that you want. I already added the application manager group, the regional manager group and the advisor manager groups. So now on the application manager, which is the highest level of security or this person can see everything. It's quite straightforward. All the tables that I have here on the right is actually ticked or is visible to this person. Anybody that signs on as an application manager type. Now, the next level is a regional manager. When you click on the regional manager, you will notice that I have unticked everything related to application manager. So this pin state range is, is, is not relevant for this person. All the COWM files or views is irrelevant for this user. He can only see his own level and down. And then the same for the advisor manager where I unticked everything above him. So only you will see here the regional sections for this group is unticked. So this advisor manager can only see on advisor level and down. This you will have to do. It's going to differ from project to project uh, depending on what you want to see, what you don't want to see. There are also additional options uh, down here. Going straight to the right, you will notice um, can they add, can they delete, can they uh, list, can they export, can they import, and a lot of other ticks related to that table. So now once you've done that, the next level will be to tell PHP Runner on a user level which records in the database table belongs to that user and that's normally done via a user ID. So on the advanced section over here you will now have to go and go through each table and select users can see and edit their own data only. If you use that option, it asks you the two fields in the two different tables, which is one being the user table and one being the actual database table, the detail table, if you want to call it that way. And you must go and select the user ID on the one which in my case is going to be this ID over here and then also in the in the detail table will be this is the RM ID regional manager ID however this is the this is the way you should be doing it however in my case I don't use this method I am using the string where clause the reason being because if you remember that going back to the actual website, this user can go and select uh, this button is created there. So a session variable gets set and depending on what is set there, it filters through the rest of the actual all, uh, all other applications. So my idea here is to when a user signs on on a reasonable level, to determine the user ID and automatically make that selection so it filters through for him only and cuts out the sections that he's not allowed to see, which PHP runners can handle. Back to the project. Jumping straight to the events section of PHP runner, you will see here the first level where I want to to make some changes is obviously on the regional level all right because the regional is the next level underneath the main can i say application manager level and uh, here you will find if you open that you will find the list page before sql query php runner allows you now to do some changes with the where clause before it actually executes and that's the beauty of this 
amazing software. Um, it also shows you the flexibility you have. You can pretty much do anything you want if you just think a little bit about it. So all I'm doing here is, is a simple and nested if. I test to see if it's an application manager or is it a regional manager or is it an advisor manager signing on. Depending on what is signing on, the user filter is just a variable that I set that I will be used later on in the where clause. So when it is a application manager, don't do anything, just set a variable to nothing. Um, if it is a regional manager, obviously the user filter is going to be and regional manager equals that. And if it is an advisor manager, the user filter is going to be advisor manager ID is going to be that. Now, obviously, depending on how you build your project and what tables you have and what columns are available, this is going to be all different. All I'm trying to show you that at the end, we're going to set this string str where clause. The str where clause applies to the actual SQL query and it gets used uh, uh, within the where clause of that table during the load of this page. Another thing I want to draw your attention to is this security get user group. This is something new as from version 9.7 where previously session variables was used to store all user related information. That was a little bit unsecure and they've made it more secure now and instead of the, the, the user related information like the group and the, the username and those kind of things are now not in session variables anymore but within this security API. Now this is beautiful and it's much better and it's much more secure. So for now I'm just asking the security API to return for me the user group of this user and I test against it. So if you are an all PHP runner user, don't look for those sessions anymore. They, they don't exist anymore. Also a small little warning, when you do set this string where clause variable, it can bite you in the backside when it comes to search. So if your application allows the user to do multiple searches and you have both things where they can click and it automatically filter and stuff like that, the way clause over here is going to override all of that. You have to be very, very careful to use this and understand how this is going to impact your actual where clause at the end. You might end up with a user searching for something and it's not working because you're actually overriding the where clause because remember your search is also part of the actual where clause. That is actually a different uh, tutorial to show you how to overcome that and there you can also use the search API which is similar to the security API. I will do another tutorial on that in the later stage. All I wanted to show you here so you have to set your user groups. You don't have to, in my case, because all the hard work regarding filtering and session variables is done, I am not going to use the recommended method of uh, setting the user level uh, records. I'm going to just add it in my string where clause over here. And uh, that's basically it. I'm going to publish this project quickly and then I will show you what it looks like when a regional manager for instance signs on. Okay so now I have already signed on as one of the regional managers and let me show you what the page looks like now. And this is it. You will see that the first thing that you can see is the regional. That COWM section is not applicable to this person so he doesn't see that. You will see that 
I've been using the select button here. It's automatically selected as user and that's what I meant by it already. The hard work and filtering is done because now I just filter automatically through here. So just remember something when the application administrator signs on to, the, to this project he will see uh, more than one regional manager which means there's a button in front of each and every one of them that he can click to select that regional manager now when a regional manager signs on there's only going to be one row for that regional manager because it's all the data in this app particular sign-on or view is relative or related only to this person you can see his own row only as well and this select button over here right in front of his name is now not necessary anymore it's pointless why do you want to click and select yourself so look out for the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to hide the button depending on the condition of the user that actually signs on. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.